Hey awak, awak yang tu lah. Jangan lupa subscribe channel kita. Tanda sokongan. Terima kasih. Hai, Assalamualaikum. Jom kita revise sambil berehat. Sambil berehat pun, kita boleh belajar tahu dengan tengok handphone. Apa tunggu lagi? Jom kita mula. Okey, sekarang kita berada dalam subtopik 2.3 iaitu berkenaan dengan capacitors with tight electrics. And this is a fill capacitor. And this one is the capacitor with tight electric. So, jom kita tengok. Kita mulakan dulu dengan capacitance of air fill parallel plate capacitor. Means that kita ada capacitor dan kita tak masukkan apa-apa lagi dielectric material. Okay, contohnya macam inilah. So, the area between the plate is filled by air ataupun vacuum. Jadi, bila kita nak kira capacitance of air filled capacitor, we can use this equation C0 equal to epsilon naught A over D. Di mana A adalah the area of the plate and D is the distance between the two plates, positive tadi dan negatif yang tadi. Okay, epsilon naught ini adalah permittivity of free space and this constant is given 8.85 exponent negative 12. Okay, so kita tengok pula yang kedua adalah capacitance of capacitor with tight electric material. Jom lihat apa perbezaan gambar rajahnya. Kalau tadi area antara kedua-dua plate tadi tak ada apa-apa. Kali ini kita insert tight electric material between the plates. Okay, so bagaimana untuk kita kira capacitance of a capacitor that with tight electric material? So equationnya agak sama. C equal to epsilon A over D. Kalau tadi kita ada epsilon naught which is permittivity of free space. Kali ini kita ada simbol epsilon which is permittivity of dielectric material. Di mana nilai permittivity of dielectric material ini berbeza bergantung kepada jenis material yang digunakan. Okay? So from the equation of capacitance here, we can try to relate the capacitance of parallel plate capacitor C and A dan juga D. Di mana the capacitance is proportional to the area of its plates A but inversely proportional to the plate separation D. Jadi semakin besar area plate tersebut, semakin besarlah capacitance of the capacitor ataupun semakin besar the separation between the plates D semakin kecil lah nilai capacitance tersebut okey jadi sekarang jom kita fokus berkenaan dengan effect of dielectric on capacitor what is the difference between the capacitance with dielectric dengan capacitance of a capacitor without dielectric material. So, jom kita tengok dulu gambar rajah ini which is this is the plates of the capacitor without dielectric. Okay, kita ada positive plate dan kita ada negative plate and the separation between the plate is given by D. Okay, so macam biasa we have the electric field between the plates so the arrow of the electric field must be from positive to negative seperti yang kita telah belajar dalam chapter 1. Okay, dan ini adalah parallel plate so kita pun tahulah that the electric field between the plates is uniform and has a magnitude of E0. Kita labelkan electric field between the plates without dielectric material ini sebagai E0. Okay, so jom kita tengok initially these plates are separated by a vacuum seperti yang saya dah jelaskan tadi. And then what happened when we connected these plates to a battery? So plate positive akan terkumpul lah positive charge dan plate negative akan terkumpul negative charge. And then what happened when the battery is removed? And the charge on the plates remains constant. Okay, selepas battery remove, charge pada plate itu 
akan kekal konstan. Okey, sekarang kita beralih pula pada situasi yang kedua berkenaan dengan kapasitor with dielectric material. Jom kita lihat gambar rajah ini macam biasa kita ada positive plate and negative plate and this is dielectric material. So we can see here before the dielectric material is inserted to the plate so we can see here that the molecules of the dielectric is located randomly okay so when the dielectric is in the capacitor the dipoles orient themselves with the field okay asalnya kedudukan molecules of dielectric tadi uh, dia berterabur kan so what happen when dielectric inserted into the capacitor so molecules of the dielectric tend to become oriented. Okay, seperti yang ditunjukkan dalam gambar rajah ini. So, you can see here, when the dielectric is in the capacitor, so the molecules of the dielectric tend to become oriented. So, dekat sini kita boleh nampak that the positive ends pointing toward the negatively charged plate and their negative ends pointing towards the positively charged plate. Okay, jadi bila kesemua molecules of the dielectric tadi dah tersusun, so the dipole creates a reverse electric field. Kita tahu kan that the electric field from positive to negative, so bila mereka dah tersusun, so mereka akan create a reverse electric field. So kita labelkan dekat sini sebagai ED. So ED is referring to the dielectric field that creates by the dipoles. Okay? Dan masih ingat ke initially this plate has the electric field of E0. Okay? So kita boleh nampak dekat sini bila kita ada ED dan E0. So what happen? The dipole field ED tadi partially cancels the field due to the plate charges ataupun kita panggil sebagai original electric field E0. So, dia akan cancel di mana ED akan cancel dengan E0 di bahagian tengah ini seperti yang ditunjukkan dalam rajah. Okay, so bila kesemua ini berlaku, so what happen? The net field between the plates E0 tadi akan berkurang. So, the voltage also decreases. Okay. So, berdasarkan gambar rajah ini, kita boleh lihat asal tadi, line untuk E0 ada 8 kan? Bila kita masukkan dielectric material between the plates, so kita akan lihat that the electric field E, which is the new electric field strength, now reduce. So, kita boleh tulis that E less than E0. Jadi, kita boleh concludekan dekat sini, selepas kita masuk dari electric field, the new electric field strength E less than E0. Boleh? Alright. So, now look at here, the relationship between E and V. So, because the new electric field strength E less than E0, Jadi sekiranya E kurang daripada E0, so based on equation V is equal to ED, V is directly proportional dengan electric field. So bila electric field berkurang sebab kita dah masukkan dah electric material tadi, so the potential difference V across the plates pun akan berkurang. Okay? Jadi jangan lupa di mana E decreasing, V also decreasing. But what happened to the capacitance of the capacitor after we insert the dielectric material? So let's look at this equation. As we know that C is equal to Q over V. And jangan lupa, when we remove the battery and we try to insert the dielectric material, the amount of charge remains constant. Alright, so Q constant. So since V is decreasing sebab 
E berkurang tadi. Therefore, we can write here that the value of the capacitance after we insert dielectric material akan increase. Okay. Jadi, itulah effect on the capacitor. When we insert the dielectric material in the capacitor, so the capacitance C will be increased. Alright, so we need to remember that we can increase capacitance C by inserting the dielectric material. Okay, seterusnya kita akan lihat pula berkaitan dengan dielectric constant iaitu epsilon R. Apa itu epsilon R? So, based on equation here, I will write that epsilon R is equal to epsilon over epsilon naught. That's mean dielectric constant epsilon R sebenarnya dia adalah ratio ataupun nisbah between the permittivity of dielectric material epsilon to the permittivity of free space epsilon naught. Okay, ataupun kita boleh katakan epsilon R is equal to C over C naught. Nilai dielectric constant juga boleh dikira menggunakan equation C over C naught. Di mana C adalah nilai capacitance after insert the dielectric material. C naught is the capacitance of the air field capacitor. Okay. So, based on this equation, we can say that the dielectric constant is also the ratio between the capacitance of a given capacitor with space filled with dielectric material C to the capacitance of same capacitor with plates in vacuum C0. Okay, ingat ya, C adalah capacitance yang ada dielectric material C0 is the capacitor without dielectric material. Okay, so berdasarkan equation ini, okay, kita boleh nampaklah kalau kita tahu tadi C equal to epsilon A over D adalah equation of capacitance for capacitor separated by dielectric while C0 is the capacitor separated by vacuum. So, bila C over C0, kita boleh cancelkan A dan juga D and finally, kita boleh dapat equation dielectric constant is equal to epsilon over epsilon naught iaitu ratio antara permittivity of dielectric material to the permittivity of free space. Okay, jadi kedua-dua equation ini kita boleh guna untuk kita kira dielectric constant. Alright, selain daripada kedua-dua equation ini, kita juga boleh kira dielectric constant berdasarkan formula yang seterusnya. Alright, since we know that C is equal to Q over V, jadi bila saya gantikan C dalam equation C over C naught ini, dan kita dah tahu tadi Q remain constant, so we can cancel Q here. Finally, we get another equation of dielectric constant is equal to V0 over V. Jangan terbalik ya. Epsilon R is equal to C over C0. Epsilon R is equal to V0 over V. Okay? So, since V is equal to ED, kita boleh gantikan pula V0 is equal to E0D dan V is equal to ED. Since the separation between the place is constant, so kita boleh cancelkan D ini. Dan akhirnya, kita boleh relatekan lagi satu equation berkaitan dengan dielectric constant, ia juga merupakan ratio antara original electric field strength without dielectric field over E which is electric field strength of the plates after we insert the dielectric material. Okay, jadi empat perkara ini you must T ingat relationship mereka so kita boleh tulis sebagai conclusion where dielectric constant epsilon R is equal to C over C0 equal to epsilon over epsilon0 equal to V0 over V 
equal to E not over E. So, pastikan anda ingat relationship mereka ini. Okay? Jadi, saya rasa itu sahajalah untuk video kali ini. Nanti kita akan buat soalan dalam video seterusnya. Jangan lupa untuk like dan share. Jumpa lagi dalam next video. Assalamualaikum dan selamat sejahtera. Bye-bye.